Something happens and I'm head of the heels. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to episode 36 of A Brew With You. I am one of your hosts, Blake Mickle, accompanied by Mr. Ramblin' Man himself, Danny Brajas. I was, in fact, born a Ramblin' Man, and I'm just trying to make a living the best that I can. You got your uh, knapsack, what do you, a bindle. You got your bindle, you know, the stick in the, the yeah. basket. It's, a bit, it's called a bindle, I know that. You don't have sure. to fix the facts on that, but got your bindle, got your, uh, your rusty old hat, you're walking down the street, have the old... Uh, Come and get it. Your thumb. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 no none of that. Have you ever uh, picked up a hitchhiker before? Never. Have you ever been a hitchhiker? Uh, no. That's how you get killed. I've done it once. I picked up two girls, but it was different because they were caught in the rain. Okay. And I said, "You girls need a ride." And I was with my friend. I wasn't alone. I was with my friend. Was sure. Like, you girls need a ride. And like, yeah, we're just going down the street. Yeah. And we just hopped in the back and we drove. And I dropped him off. And it was, sure. It was. I, I, You're lucky that you didn't get murdered. I hope you know that. Those girls. I, there's a, that Keanu Reeves movie. Um, it's a horrible where, film. And it was Keanu Reeves, and the, he lets the two girls in. And the girls then, are very attractive. Yeah, it was it Eli Roth? I think he was a producer. I don't think he directed. It was. It. We nominated it for the Premi Awards um, for best line. He goes. Uh, sure. Yeah. In a Keanu, very Keanu-esque way. Uh, what was the name of that movie? Oh, we got to fix the facts. I'm already that's, uh, that Knock Knock. Uh, oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, look at us. I've, I'm like, at again, this. I've seen it, and it's a terrible film. Oh, you have seen it. Yeah. My bad. I, um, I missed that when I was rambling about Keanu. <laughs> but I think that's how he generally responds to any script idea that's tossed his way. Uh, sure. sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can we get another zero on the end of that paycheck? Anything for you, Keanu? Sure. I didn't see his last movie, and actually, it got really good reviews. The John, John Wick. Yeah, I heard it was they good. They actually are making a sequel. Yeah, I um, heard it was good. Yeah, supposedly it was a great action film. I didn't see it myself. I missed uh, out on a lot of movies. You know what, though? Keanu Reeves is, and it's funny because <laughs> I'm one of the, the, the all-time great sellouts who has never actually sold out for anything, but... I absolutely would love to be an actor, not for the purpose of acting and entertaining people, but strictly for all the cool shit that you get to do. Did you see recently there is a video uh, online that uh, it's it's uh, pertaining to John Wick 2, and it's Keanu Reeves literally like in assassin training. It's like him <laughs> running through a shooting range with a, with a shooting instructor, and sure. it's, he's basically going through like SWAT training, and it's awesome. I was just like, this is what he gets paid for? That's, yeah. That's badass. The guy, you know, I remember I uh, was watching a behind the scenes with him in The Matrix, and that guy was soaking his body in ice baths, like, after every shoot, because he, he, I mean, he put his body to the test mm -hmm. during that. It was a, a chore for him. Um, the guy, you know, he commits. You can say what yeah. he wants about the acting ability, but I'd say the truth. There's a, I'm not going to ramble on about this, but he, because I'm not a who's rambling the, man. Who's the rambling I'm not, man yeah, now, Who's the rambling man, yeah. He, um, he is a really awesome man like sweet man he does a lot he he takes huge pay cuts so to equal pay for his co-actors this is before the whole like equal pay for women and everything like that this was like he's done he was doing this in the early 90s um he always like he he rides like the the, the subway there's like great there's these videos of like Keanu Reeves rides the subway and he's sitting down and he like gets up he's like would you like to sit down he has like a random yeah, stranger I've like, seen those, like yeah. he, does, he does like all this like down-to-earth stuff he's just a down-to-earth guy really nice guy uh there's a lot more to it he had a really dramatic life too i think his like his uh girlfriend uh just was pregnant uh they broke up but they were still close and he was gonna be the father of the child and they died in a car accident and Ooh, he i didn't know about that like, yeah and he still just kept on going he had a cover from that it was and he had a very he had a very tragic life um but nice guy apparently i haven't met him but i'm sure he's just swell Yes. Probably John Wick too works out for him. Yes, not the what was the Thirteen Assassins was the movie was or four uh, Forty Seven Ronin. Oh, Thirteen is a different movie. You're right. Yes, yes Forty Seven Ronin. I didn't see that, but it didn't look. Thirteen that great. Uh, Assassins is a pretty legit movie. Yeah, it was like, pretty I good. Like that it was film. pretty good. Yeah. For any of you joining us for the very first time, a brew with you is where Danny and I will try a beer for the very first time while discussing random topics. Broken up. Tuesday through Thursday on YouTube, with the whole episode being released on Friday. If you like what you see, like what you hear, like what you feel. Go to patreon.com slash big deal Blake to get some extra perks. And as, and most importantly, you can get this whole episode a week early. We are now Ooh. shooting a week early now. We are this is the end of the grind for us. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this week, I brought the beer. So Danny, where are we drinking? Seeing as how we have been discussing many things uh, relevant to our things, past. I like things and stuff. Relevant to our past. 
relevant to what we grew up with, relevant to things that are being remade unnecessarily and certain things that are being remade that are awesome. In this particular case, Doom, uh, the popular video yeah. game, is getting a lot Doom. of rave reviews. Yeah. I was thinking, because we also have recently talked about gaming, what did I used to game on yeah. when I grew I do up? I a gaming podcast. I got to do that. Yeah. What did I used to game on when I grew up, when I was growing up? Sega Genesis. I mean, I did have a Nintendo as a kid. Sega. Uh, but that was, to be to be honest, that was like my older brother's system. Like he was the first one to get a gaming system. When I got a gaming system, it was Sega Genesis. Mm. So I thought it would be legit to drink on Sega Genesis games. Sega Genesis games. Oh, yeah. I can think of so many on the top of my head. Alter Tons. Beast. Oh, one of the best. Uh, <laughs> Which, uh, either we're doing the Sega chime or we're yelling Powered Up. Power Up. Oh, we should do Power Up. Yeah. All right. All right. On the count of three, Power Up. One, two, three. Power, power Up. up. <laughs> I already feel stronger. I love that freaking... That game, I, apparently, uh, Altered Beast, like... Apparently, it has such a big nostalgia factor, but people who actually go back and play the game actually say, like, wow, this game is really bad. It's like a really bad game play. And so I don't, I, I'm not hating. This is what the people are saying. They're the, sure. the, the, the experts, if you will. Yeah. But Snaps. I remember they were like having a blast of that game growing up as a kid. But I mean, we were very limited with our game choices. But I don't remember it being bad, but apparently it did not age well. I don't yeah. know. But I just, uh, that game was classic. I have, I used to have the, the ringtones. Yeah. Live from your grave. <laughs> Yeah. I uh oh let's drink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, about I'm pretty, no, it's fine. I'm pretty sure I heard that voice the past two mornings when I was when I was waking up. <laughs> the rock, from your grave. You had the rock yeah. do that for you on his rock clock. He's busy a, calling me a jabroni. <laughs> um all right, so I brought the bear. Um so what are we drinking? So we are technically late rant night right now. We're recording this in May. So the the goofy names are over, but this will be released in June. So I'm thinking yeah. of kind of a segue, May sure. to June, right? So this is our second time we're doing a collaboration beer on this podcast. See where I'm going here? Sure. Kind of like a funny name. It's got a unique name, two breweries, May and June kind of merging okay. together. Um, I'm interested. Um, from our good friends, uh, two brothers here in Aurora, they teamed up with another brewery Excuse me, in Chicago, in the Metropolitan Brewery. So we got the suburbs of Chicago and the city of Chicago coming together, bringing us a false economy. Unity. Unity. Which is not the meaning of dichotomy. And I think it's a pretty label. It's a pretty label. It's got uh, a rose and some metalness, like a, like a metal... However, technically, I guess cog. a false dichotomy would technically be a unity. Yeah, I am interested in this. Um, hmm. I know in the works, um, we're going to have the brewmaster of uh, Two Brothers on the show sometime. Ooh. I'm not, I don't know uh, what the time frame is on that, but it's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. Uh, he's a very nice guy. Uh, he's a friend of a friend. He's... Uh, just saw him not too long ago. Um, cool. We, we played cards, and it was great. A better way to play cards with the brewmaster of two brothers. Um, don't know much about this beer, unfortunately. Um, I just all I read about it this online uh, is just that two brothers in Metropolitan were teaming up to bring a beer. Um, I that's all I really know. Uh, it doesn't really say much, but all I could tell you that even on the bottle it doesn't say anything. The box doesn't say anything. It just says it's an IPL, uh, Indian Pale Lager. And uh, I don't know. I don't India. Know. What did I say? Indian. Oh. What's the difference? Uh, the people from a regional area versus the regional area itself. Okay. Don't have to fix some facts on that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know much about this. Uh, I think it's just because it's a special, specialized beer. It's Most collaborations uh, yeah, are. So it's not like um, uh, this huge description. Uh, well, we had the Stone Brewery and the what other one? It was Stone and what, uh, what other brewery teamed up? Uh, uh, that was, uh, right. That was for the Stone Home Brewing Contest winner. Uh, so it was them, it was Stone, and it, geez, off the top of my head, I, it was so long ago. And it's weird that we've been doing this for so long now that I, I can't remember. You know, we got to uh, a point. It was 24 karat gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like the carrot cake one. The carrot cake ale, yeah. The Belgian style carrot cake. But... I can't remember who that collaborative <laughs> uh, brew was with. Yeah, I can't remember. It was a very small one, though. I think it was like a winner of some contest, wasn't well, it? Well, so the home brew contest winner gets to do it with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's another major brewery involved in that Okay, well, well, anywho, we can't remember, but we'll look that up later. Yeah, um, yeah but you were saying, though, looking at the topics for today, uh, and also for, uh, I didn't really allude to this yet, but I'm saying it now. This is a special episode. This is a special episode. We're going to be doing... Um, what do they call it? Uh, some crossover. Some crossover right. podcasting today, ladies and gentlemen. A little surprise for you at the end of this one. 
and a little special for the preamble, uh, which why it's a little bit late, but that you'll understand why. And uh, you sure. are you you're a good patron, so I I I I, pre- I appreciate your patience. But a little bonus for you. Uh, so at the end of this, we got uh, a little switcheroo. We'll explain more what that means down the road. Foreshadowing. Surprise! Surprise for you. Um, but yeah, looking at all these videos, man. And let's just drink. Yeah, let's drink first off, and we'll get back to the. the yeah, videos. let's cheers. Let's talk about things. Uh, uh, false economy. Thank you, two brothers in Metropolitan. Let's hope that we are head over heels when yeah. we drink this. All right. That's a lot sweeter than I thought it'd be. A lot sweeter. Mmm. You get the paleness, and I got sweetness back to forth. You know what I'm saying? In the initial right. taste, I get the sweetness, and then that paleness kicks in the aftertaste. That's, that's yeah. Well, that's uh, it's processing. That's that's you can definitely taste the yeast characteristics of a lager on the back end of that beer. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about that. Um, and I do like this. It, IPLs, you don't see very many of them. Um, no, you don't. And also, for the record, this is seven point two. Again, we're going back to the high numbers. <laughs> we were right. Just like a lower beer last uh, last week, and now we're going to a high one with luponic distortion. And I IBU still like that name. Fifty seven too. Yes. Anywho. No, that's uh, that's good. It's uh, very malty as well. It's get another one of those right now. Oh, this is our special guest going to be uh, making his way right now, making an appearance. Nope, guess not. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I can get on board with that for sure. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I um, I. I'm really surprised. You said like for India Pale Lagers, I, I I can't remember the last time I had one. If I've had one before, it's not even ringing a bell for me. Yeah, the uh, I know that Brickstone makes. I believe Brickstone makes one, um, or it might be an American Pale yeah, Lager. That's what but. I like about this too. On the very back of the bottle, it says Best Buy 07 18 16. So it tells me when it's good by instead of like doing adding the 90 days to the brewing bottle. I like that right. better. Like I like that way better. It's like expiration date. I like that better. Drink by. Praise to you yeah. two brothers. Praise to you. I um I'm okay with this, but if you yeah. didn't know right now, like I said, we're shooting a week early, so we're actually shooting this on Memorial Day right now. Oh, Danny, you really processing this? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm taking a look. I like it. Yeah, on Memorial Day. Um, I didn't really have any Memorial Day plans. Um, normally you do the barbecue thing, right? Sure. And I can't remember the last time I had a barbecue in the city. Have you? Uh, it's weird to say this, but was it or was it that was. Was it Labor Day or was it? Has it already been a year since we went to Jason's in this in like the Hyde Park's like slash South Loop area? To that, go was, to that. that was Labor Day. I thought. That was Labor Day. Yeah. I think okay. That was, I think that was Labor Day. So yeah. it hasn't it hasn't been a year, but it still has been a long time. Yeah, that's when we couldn't get the grill to work. Remember? Yeah. There was a barbecue and the grill wasn't yeah. working. <laughs> but uh, you know, I miss uh, when I was living in the Burbs. I had my my hibachi grill and I had my charcoal. I really like. I always liked grilling, and I used to make uh, what's the uh, uh, stubs stubs the the seasoning. Barbecue sauce? Yeah, well, it's a, I like the, the marinade. Not okay. the barbecue sauce, but the marinade. You marinate the steaks with sure. the stubs. That's the best way to make a steak, in my opinion, is the stubs marinade. It's fantastic. Just let the, the steak soak in overnight, preferably, or at least a couple hours before you grill it. But let it soak in that, that stubs. Really good stuff. You know, I don't remember you doing much barbecuing. I remember you were in a cooking phase some yeah, time ago. Yeah, I do, I do love to grill. I just, I've never really had open access to one. I haven't had open access to a grill since, like, college. And even back then... Uh, Steve was usually our grill master. Yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve was Steve though, but Steve was always like just always wanted to control everything. You know, well, he, he, he also always had to be. The, he also had Hans's recipes behind that. Touche. Yeah, so I was always the greatest more than happy co- to let Steve grill. I'd be like, "What, you're Hans? Hans? That's Hans's recipe. Yeah, go ahead. Greatest what tailgater. Do what do you need? I'll, I'll buy chicken. What do you yeah, got? <laughs> yeah, the greatest tailgater in history. Yes. He remember he made that that Bears game. I don't know if you went to this one, but he made stuffed. He took chicken. And stuffed it with jalapeno cream cheese and then wrapped it in bacon. Think yeah. about that. That's oh, that what that, that he made that. <laughs> it was the best food I've ever had. Is at a Bears game, and it, it's just he's it was the best tailgating food ever. Oh my god! Hey, yes, let's fix some facts and air some airs from last week's episode. Let's. If you are new to the show, every week. Danny and I recap the things we messed up from last episode. If we go and get something right, or we uh, mispronounce something, or 
We've like you've already shown on this episode where which we now have a lot how of information. To, how to pronounce dot com yes. to back us up every time that we get something wrong. I don't know how popular they are. I'm hoping they have some power so that if they hear us mentioning that, they'll be like, yeah. We'll get on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can do a collaboration with howtopronounce.com where we just pronounce a series of things wrong and they correct us. Oh, that'd be fun. Um, we should air that. <laughs> Anyways, fixing facts and airing the airs. A couple wah, of things wah. that we discussed, uh, maybe not so much airs, but more so facts, I think, across the board for the most part. Well, one air, uh, again, <laughs> on me, just a hot streak of getting things wrong. Hey. But... Uh, Snow White. We could not recall when it was released. That uh, was me. You were you were in the ballpark though. You said it was either thirties or forties. Yeah. Uh, it was released uh, January thirteenth of nineteen thirty eight. Thirty eight. I yes. I I think thirty nine was the big year in movies. I'm pretty sure. When was Wizard of Oz and um, Gone with the Wind? I think that was thirty nine. I think uh, I think I that know. I think that was the again. We're just now we're trying to fix the facts and sure. adding another crap right. on top of it. Damn it! Thanks I, a lot, Blake. Yeah, yeah. That, the late thirties. So that was a big time movie. Well, I know King Kong for a fact came out in thirty three. Sure, and that's you know that's an amazing movie. Um, Absolutely, but I think Who doesn't uh, want to go to Skull Island. Oof, they're doing another one. I think like King Kong Skull Island movie. Yeah, you know what? I was I was also seeing some kind of advertisements about some kind of ride. I think mm. at Universal <laughs> Studios where it's like a VR. It might be a VR thing. Which I'm, you know what? I'm really happy that VR is making a booming comeback. Yeah, that's huge um, right now. I mean, when Sony VR comes out, it's gonna change the game. Right, and not too long no ago, pun intended. not too long, not too long ago, uh, I was using Samsung's uh, VR gear uh, powered by Oculus. Oculus. Sean has it on his phone, and there is a couple of short ones that you can go into. Uh, they are like Avengers themed, and there's one called the Fight for Avengers Tower. Coolest thing by far is that when you first go into it, it starts you off in Avengers Tower and you're just in this room mm. and you're kind of looking around and it's, it's you know, the Stark Tower. And when you turn to your left shoulder, you just see the panning skyline of New York, which is sure. awesome. Sure. But then as you come to like the window, like full face the window, the reflection is the Iron Man armor. Oh, so fun. You, and you're just in the Iron Man armor and it looks, <laughs> it looks awesome. It's so cool. Yeah, I uh, I uh, did that on when I went to the draft. Uh, Johnny and I, we put on some VR headsets so we like see like what training's like. It was okay. Uh, even the guy admitted that, that we were using like the first generation model of VR so it didn't look amazing. But the, the fact is that you could look anywhere Yeah, and there was v- v- footage anywhere you looked. It's just the only problem is it wasn't like the clarity wasn't there. But like I could see it being really cool when it's when it's like up and running and it's yeah. like everything, like you can see all the pieces are put together and it's all like, I'm, looks I'm like not going to lie screen. to you. There, there are, and not really, not really games per se because you don't partake in them, but they're more so again, just simulations, sure. scenarios that, that they yeah. put you in and, and basically the point of it is to look around the sure. room. And there are a couple of ones that he downloaded that are just little like game simulators that are like horror film based. Mm. And yeah, it, it creeps the hell out of me. We make this a topic of VR. Creep, it creeps the hell, it creeped the hell out of we, me. R and we are B R. <laughs> that, that is something that '90s kids we should are. could we definitely have done without. We are. Thank you, Saban. 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 Anyways, Saban. as we are both being rambling Saban. men right now. Yeah, what uh, else are we fixing here? Lord, I was born a rambling man. Yes. You asked me who it was. I said I wanted to Steely say it was Dan. Waylon Jennings. It was not Waylon Jennings. It was in fact the Almond Brothers uh, band. I don't know anything by them except that song now. Yeah. Can you name another Almond Brothers song right now? Off the top of my head? Yeah. Uh, I take that as a no. See? On the top of your head. Yeah. No. I, well, <laughs> this might be wrong, but I thought they were Midnight Rider. We're just, we're just adding and more sweet, and, sweet and, Melissa. Just, and Sweet Melissa. I don't know anything about the Allman Brothers. I'm pretty sure I, I think those are both Allman Brothers songs. Well, again, yeah, this is just going to be one cycle where we just keep getting <laughs> the, just same, keep on feeding the, the system. same four topics wrong every single time. Damn right. Anyways, uh, one last one that we hopefully do not have to circle back around because I took my own advice from the last week's show and did listen to some of it. Ha ha! Uh, the American Idol singer who was a male that won was Adam Lambert. He was the one that sang with Queen. Ah! He actually does. He doesn't do a bad job. Not I mean, related to Christopher Lambert. No, Christopher Lambert. Oh, uh, who plays the Highlander? Yes, but Adam who Lambert plays t- the Highlander. Uh, plays the Highlander, <laughs> quote unquote. And Raiden. Yes. Coincidence? I think not. No. Both got white hair, right? No, he didn't have white hair in Highlander. Both are immortal. Yes, both are immortal. Uh, but yes, I, I did listen to some of his performances with Queen. He's, I mean, no, Freddie Mercury can't be touched, but 
he is he's pretty good he, he's got a pretty good voice and when yeah, he, right. his his actual intro uh like because i was going through youtube and watching adam lambert cri- uh clips his actual like first audition was bohemian rhapsody oh very cool yeah so, yeah there was this article i read about um freddie mercury and it was actually like the science behind his voice and how he could hit these notes and also for how long and how many times the endurance it, it's like he had like a it was like a freak thing i couldn't remember what it, it was like an enlarged i don't know Read the article. It's a good article. Sure. Um, good science. And now I actually have one fix the fact, but it's not really a fixing the... Yeah, it's fixing the fact. It's not air in the air. Um, we talked about Budweiser changing their name to America, which um, I did specify that it was just uh, not a permanent change, but just for the summer. However, it the time... It just happened May 23rd, and it's going to November. So, yes, it has to deal with the election season as well. So it's like summertime, America, and then also because it's election season. So okay. that's just specifying more sure what's going down i uh i'm actually okay with it i think it's different i mean i don't i don't know some people are mad i don't know i think people were more mad when uh, the belgium company bought um anheuser bush right now owned by belgians not americans it's kind of the funny thing about it let's change our name to america while we're now owned by a european it's kind of like captain america saying there he's hydra you know what i'm saying it's like yes you're not really american anymore you're hydra right i don't know sure it's like this 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 two-way you're saying one thing, you're really something else. I don't know. But you know what the best-selling beer in America is still Bud Light. Really? Yeah. It's like Interesting. two billion, I don't know, it's something like that. It's a lot. It's, a, it's like, this, there's like Bud Light, and then, it's like, the okay, compare Bud Light to the, like sports in terms of like NFL. Like, here, like the most popular sport in America is NFL, right? Sure. Then, I don't even know what the second one is, but whatever it is. Right let's now, just say basketball. Like, you say, okay, so NFL's at 10. The entire city has now become Golden State Warriors fans. Mm-hmm. It's kind of ridiculous. What do you mean the entire city? Uh, every time we've had a Golden State playoff game, wall-to-wall people in the bar. Oh, you're talking about Chicago? Yeah. Oh. Wall-to-wall people. Going, no, Curry's a fun guy. Going yeah. nuts, though. Like, going nuts. Uh, I had a bar full of people screaming their heads off in the first quarter. And I Is was like, right? I, I was just looking around. I was like, you guys have seen a basketball game before, right? There's, there's, <laughs> there's three more quarters. Game seven's tonight right now. There's uh, this, this four-point difference in the first quarter, three minutes into the fourth quarter. It doesn't matter. Why, why, are, you, why are you yelling? <laughs> Quit yelling in my face. You sound face. like me talking about baseball. Yeah. <laughs> like first game of the season, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, this could be our year, man. This is the year. Actually, they are really good this year. Mm-hmm. You know, I was talking about this because um, we did this. We shot this, uh, this special. Johnny um, had a, as a special coming up, and we shot it the other day. And we were talking about the Crosstown Classic this year, Sox and Cubs, at the end of July. Yeah. And... Um, that's going to be insane. Mm-hmm. Sox and Cubs are both in first place, I believe, right now. It's going to be insane. That's going to be like one of the biggest ones I could think of for Crosstown. Yeah. That's going to be insane. Try and score some tickets now, people. Good luck, though. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Shall we move on? Let us.